Ready. Play. Congratulations on your first win in this regard. Can you let us know your feelings after the match? Yeah, so it is actually my first win, but I've only been here twice. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of an unorthodox match. Of course, playing against her is always a bit like tricky. Actually, it was my first time playing against her, but of course, I've seen her around, I know her a little bit. But uh, yeah, first set, I mean, I was dominating. Everything went a bit my way. And then, of course, I, I like tennis is. Um, people are gonna, our players are gonna try to adjust a little bit, which he did. And all credits to her for winning that second set. Um, yeah, a bit too passive on my side, but I felt like in the third set, I started to dominate again, tried to go a little bit to the net because I'm, I'm also comfortable there too. So it gave me an advantage. Uh, I'm curious, do you do you feel as though um, with your level, maybe not just results wise, but at least level in the way that you're playing, that you are trending up? Like, are you feeling like things are on the right way? Um, I think so. Of course, I can always do things better. And you can always work on things, but I feel like I'm pretty steady at the moment. Um, having some tough draws, of course, in the, in the past, but you know, I can only learn from these matches. And of course, I'm 28, so I'm not the, <laughs> the younger one, but I still feel like, okay, Tennis gives me a lot and I have a lot of passion for tennis. I've always tried to improve and I think that's my work ethic. Just try to improve every time and, and that's why I think I'm still there in the ranking. Uh, to the match uh, now, uh, did you expect such consistency from Tatiana in the second set? Or did her uh, like game surprise you or not surprise you? Um, the game did not surprise me because of course I look at matches too before I play her. But uh, I knew it was going to be a tough match, especially playing uh, here uh, in Stuttgart, in her country. Um, but yeah, she's a very experienced player, very tricky player, so you never know what you're going to get. Um, so all credits to her for, for, for getting that second set. And I think um, it's never easy. Also, first matches are never easy. You know, we have to get a little bit used to the court. Um, but uh, it did not surprise me, but I knew it was going to be difficult. Um, it seemed like she's obviously got this slice and dice approach, but you went a lot more to her backhand, it seemed to me. Uh, she seemed to have a lot more height on the on the slice on the backhand, and it, it did look to me as though a tactic of yours was to at least tend towards that side. Could you talk about that a bit? Yeah, for me, um, I don't mind if people play drop shots or slides or high balls or or any kind of ball. So I'm, I'm kind of like, okay, you know, this is this is different. This is nice too. Uh, I'm embracing the challenge. So I kind of play the drop shot too and the slides and then coming to the net. Um, so yeah, um, her backhand slides, yes, it flowed a little bit more than her forehand. I feel like in the forehand side, she can really get that, 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 that fast slice in. So I felt like, yeah, maybe approach a bit more on the backhand side. Um, but I also felt like my back end down the line sometimes worked really well. So I think I just had to also third set again, um, work a bit more, like dominate a bit more from my side and what I have to do and what I can improve. <laughs> you mentioned being 28, to be clear, that's still very, very, very young. I know. Okay, just making <laughs> sure. But how, what is the biggest difference you feel being on tour at 22 mm -hmm. versus being at tour at this point at, at 28? I think it's more like the experience. Uh, you've been to a lot of places already. If you do really well, you go to the play same places every year. Um, so which I, I, I like, of course, uh, you know, the conditions, but also you feel less stressed. Uh, I felt like when I was 20 years old, I felt like I need to win this one. I need to win this. I need to win this match. Because if I lose, then, you know, mm -hmm. two losses in a row or something like that, just panicking a bit more and I feel like now okay I lost the second set but you know I can do it again this is a new set uh, new new match but uh, yeah I think it's more relaxed sometimes I'm a bit stressy too of course but uh, yeah I think it's more like okay trust yourself a bit more what what I can do as a tennis player and next round you play against 22 years old yeah <laughs> what is your plan my plan. <laughs> uh, 
Um, of course, I'm going to look at a bit of her, her matches in the past. And um, I actually haven't played her yet. And seeing as I played her once in doubles in Indian Wells, uh, with with Sue Wei still on my side, yeah, yeah, it's been it's been some years, but um, yeah, I think I just have to um, dominate a little bit, go into the court, not hesitate at all, uh, because she she will get that ball back, she will hit the ball, and of course she um, she has a lot of experience on these scores already, winning it twice. But uh, yeah, let's see what I can do against her. You know, in tennis, you never know. Iga, I mean, obviously, you'll watch tape tonight, but you've seen her play passively, actively, however. But what stands out to you? I mean, you've never played her across the net in singles, but what stands out to you as kind of being what makes her difficult and why she's been able to kind of have the consistent success that she has? Um, at age of 22, it's unbelievable what she's already achieved, and, and uh, definitely in the future, too, she will achieve a lot more. But uh, yeah, the mental toughness, I think, and, and not giving any points away, taking the ball on the rise, taking it early, um, and her footwork, of course, too. So it's a, she's a bit like a, a, an old court play, an all around player. Uh, so you don't really find a lot of weaknesses. And um, yeah, I think, of course, that's why she's number one. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.